Hey guys, well it is time for the long awaited, I guess you'd say, end of the Carlson series. I went along for a couple years and realized I never finished it out and never gave an explanation of where it went. We talked about it on the Facebook page a couple of times, but it's never been officially announced and actually put a closure to the end of it. So this is the video. But first we're going to take a look at something that I think is an absolute lifesaver. Remember I was talking about how hot it gets in the garage and how miserable it is sometimes. I know I've griped about it during the Sea Ray rebuild as well. Well, a company stepped up and sent me a big standalone air conditioner and I want to show you this thing. I'll tell you, for the price, you can't beat it. All right guys, this is the New Ev 14100H. The H is very important and I'll tell you why. It's called heat. I've been looking all over for one of these things that actually had heat at a decent price and could not find one. Um, these things, uh, they range anywhere from $600 to $900. Uh, I was just at Home Depot yesterday looking at a Toshiba and it only had cooling, 14,000 BTU, but it did not have heat for $600. Bucks. With your discounts you're going to get from me, this is a whole lot less and you get heat. Um, this thing has really been a lifesaver. Um, it, like I said, 14,000 BTUs. Uh, it comes with a heat function, the heat pump basically. Got a couple little features that I thought were really neat that I have not seen on these. Right here is a water reservoir that actually helps with your cooling. So if you're in a really, really dry area, area uh, not enough humidity, uh, this actually helps uh, your core from uh, the uh, coils from freezing up and it also cools the uh, compressor itself. You do have your standard cable or the, the exhaust tube on the back here and it comes with all the pieces that you need to vent it through a wall or a window a remote control and a drain line. The drain line is neat because you do not have to actually drain this thing. Uh, actually, it does not drain on the floor. It drains into a catch pan, and when it gets full, it just shuts off. Then you take it over to where you need it to be, drain it out, and you're good to go. So this thing right here has been a, a, an absolute lifesaver. Now you notice that I have it venting through the uh, garage door right now. Well, new house, and we've not installed it properly into the wall. I'm actually going to get a uh, Vita hood type exit uh, on the side of the house. It's a six inch with a flap to keep the rodents out and then put it on the side of the garage. Luckily this garage, every wall is insulated with the exception of this garage door. So I'll briefly go over some of these functions with you. These are really, really simple. Along with the remote control, you also have the top uh, panel itself from the mode that goes from auto cool fan to heat. Auto allows you to be automatically adjust the fan up and down between heat and cool, temperature up and down. It shows you the display right here. It's at 88 and we have it set to 72. So it's starting to work right now. Then down here, you got your high, medium, low on your fan, timer from zero to 24 hours. Pretty much everything you need, adjustability on your, your veins either direction. And I tell you, plug it in and forget it until the water reservoir fills up and then you just dump it out again. So there you go, the New Air 14100H. Uh, it's their biggest model, obviously, and uh, I really enjoy it. If you check out their website, newair.com, the N-E-W-A-I-R.com, they've got all kinds of stuff from the ACs like this to smaller ACs, other little accessories that you might like. So with the little link that I'm providing below, it's Frisco 20, you're gonna get 20% off the order that you get from anything on the website. I recommend this thing because it does have the heat and cool function, it's pretty neat well worth the money to go with this. Plus, you're not going to be paying the normal price of those big ones as you go to the bigger box stores and you're getting heat too. So it's pretty neat. Anyway guys, let's move on to the rest of the video. So, let's go back a few years. 2015-ish, uh, late 14, early 15, um, some really bad things happened in my life, namely a divorce. And um, had to do a whole bunch of asset splitting and figuring out where things go. Uh, I ended up with the Carlson CBX18 as uh, in the divorce, uh, which made me real happy because it actually was at about 95 to 98 percent. I had all the parts to put it back together. The drawback is, is I lost my place to work on it. Uh, I was living on my boat, uh, which is really not that glamorous of a thing. Uh, I had it up in storage at the marina, but I really didn't have any tools or anything to work on it. I uh, didn't have Wi-Fi access, so uploading videos wasn't an option. It really was kind of a, a bad time. Plus, honestly, I didn't really want to make any of the videos at that time. Um, it was it was one of those things that, that it just was, it was awful. So, moving on. Um, went on for about five or six months. I knew it was up there and I wanted to get it finished. 
So five or six months got go down the road. We're in mid 2015 summer. Um, I knew that this thing needed to get done, and I wanted to have it to play around with, but I didn't have the tools. Well, I met a guy at one of the uh, marina shops around there, and he said, man, for $400, I'll stick that drive on it, uh, test everything out, and it's all good to go. Well, the engine ran. It was all doing fine. So I thought, no problem. So I gave him my brand new, uh, uh, out of the aftermarket out drive, uh, and he took it and said he was going to have it done in a couple of days. Well, a couple of days came and went, a couple of weeks came and went, a couple of months came and went, and finally around, I think, October, November, after hounding him every other day to find out where we were, I basically told him, I said, I want my money back, and I want the, the boat and the outdrive back. Um, never responded. Um, I kept going, kept going, kept going, and sure enough, finally, he uh, had to threaten, so I had to threaten some legal action. Um, I didn't get my money back, but I did get the drive back, which actually was put together great, but it looked like it had gone through, uh, basically dr drug behind a truck. All the paint was chipped. Um, it was still fine. It was, it was in great shape, but it didn't look brand new anymore like it should have. And it really, really ticked me off. So uh, at that time, it was November, and I was moving into an apartment. And um, I basically threw the drive in that thing, forgot about it, stuffed the boat in the back of the apartment complex. Didn't really have any money or anything, to, any time or, or anything to work on it. And I was going through a real tough time in my head. You know, it just uh, it seemed like I just couldn't catch a break. So I let it sit. And it sat for another year. I uh, kept it covered in the back of our apartment complex. And um, I just, one day, I said, I'm done. I needed the money. And I sold it really, really, really cheap to someone uh, up north. Now, the good thing about it is I know that it is finished. Um, I've got some great pictures. I'm going to post them up. One's right here. Here's a little teaser. I'm going to post them on my blog, and there'll be a link down here in the bottom uh, to be able to go see all the pictures of it finished. Uh, I know it's gone to a really good home. Uh, it is, goes to the classic uh, Carlson Glastron heat of meat up in Minnesota each year. It's been there for the past two years. Um, they communicate with me and show me pictures and everything like that. So it's kind of neat that it's actually gotten finished. Um, I'm pretty bummed that I was not able to provide you guys with that and a splash and all that stuff because it seemed like we just built up to nothing. And unfortunately life happens and I'm sorry, but uh, I think you guys deserve to know the, what happened to the, to the Carlson. Now we've got it documented on YouTube and know exactly what's going on. Like I said, I'm gonna throw some pictures up. It is definitely done and it looks gorgeous. Uh, I spoke to the, um, the, the owner of it and he said they had a couple issues with the engine when they first fired it up. There was one of the rocker nuts was backing off. It wasn't staying seated, but they got that fixed. It was all good. Stuck the drive on it. Really hadn't had any problems. Uh, it's it really, I kind of miss it. Now, so there you go, guys. It's done. It is in some very, very safe place. Uh, it's very loved and it will be for many, many years. Um, I feel proud that I built it. I feel, feel proud that I did it in the right way. Um, I just wish I had more space to work on something like that now. Uh, I have a front entry garage now, now and you can't have anything like that in there in the front. That's actually per city code, not really just HOA. So now you know the end of the Carlson story. I really appreciate all my fans for sticking with me through the whole time. Even though I went MIA and nobody really knew what was going on with the Carlson, I'm glad you guys stuck through it. And I owed you this video to be able to let you know exactly what's going on and uh, that where it is. So with that being said, thank you for watching. And if you guys, oh, you know what? Totally forgot. I, I thought I mentioned this on the Facebook uh, page, but I didn't. Um, a few months ago, I got a text from the Sea Raid owner. <laughs> now this is good and bad. Um, good news is the thing is, still stored in a heated and cool place. It's only had about 20 hours put on it since I sold it in 2014, 13. Um, and it's still gorgeous. Um, he said, hey man, it's just sitting here. Uh, if you ever want it, you get first shot, buy it back. <laughs> yeah, I was really shocked and excited at the same time. However, there's no funds. So it's a pipe dream right now, but I thought it was kind of neat that I do get that option. But I do have my baby still out in the world and they're cared for and the people still think of me, the builder. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and hopefully we can do something like that grand, who knows, car, another boat, I don't know, down the road.
but it will be something. This is always going to be Frisco Voters Garage. We're going to try all kinds of new stuff. And I really appreciate all my subscribers. And I hope to see you soon. So please like this video if you like it. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and click the little bell, bell beside it so that way you get notifications every time that I release a video.